Marshall, Louis James. Here's the point for us in the red corner, Shane Crampton. Go ahead and challenge the action. Hello everybody, welcome to Combat Challenge. We're here at Cedar Court in Bradford. It's Alex King and Rich Kenny in commentary. And Rich, looks like we've got ourselves an amateur MMA fight, right? 3-3 three as well. We've got Louis James taking on Shane Crampton. Good stuff. Both guys looking in shape. Yeah, Ooh. Ready. A couple of nice short hands well, there from Louis really early on. Big take down for Louis as well. He's landed side control and uh, Shane manages to uh, regain half guard. To get sweep through and try and get back to guard. Oh, it's nice to see. quite tight on him at the moment, using the cage well. He's getting back to his feet nicely. Nicely that. done, nicely done. Good work there from Shane Crampton. Always good to see a nice fast finish from these guys, because there's not many rounds and they're not very long. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's good to see the guys scrambling early, good outside leg kick there from Shane. Body kick. Showing good balance early as Louis at the moment. Mm. Seeing Louis James has uh, had that nice power takedown early on and then uh, subsequently avoids a takedown himself there from Shane Crampton. Short knee there from Shane. Yeah. Like the top yeah. there. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure that was. I think he made the complaint that she got hit in the face. Yeah, well, it's never nice. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not the objective, unfortunately. Nice, uh, nice front teep there, just out of range from Louis into the body. Oh, a lovely body lock. Louis on top here. Shane uh, trying to tie up with up. the uh, the overhook moves to unhook there and keeps the posture. Louis staying tight. Shrimping well is, uh, yeah. is Shane. He's doing really well trying to create some space. He has got a little bit of room to work with, but not a great deal. He's quite tight go. against the cage, but he's trying really hard to regard at the moment. Nice active hips from Shane from the bottom. By no means passive. Yeah, Louis staying tight though, trying to trap that arm and get some uh, ground and pound off. Does manage to regard one, yeah. one butterfly hook still in for Shane. Don't know if that butterfly hook was optional though, he's gone back to half guard now. Yeah. Locking down that leg, doing a good job of uh, defensively protecting himself from the bottom there. Yeah, what about knee on belly there from Lewis as he tries to pass through and get his leg free and moving to side control? Still working really hard on that as uh, Shame tries to elevate his hips and get that get that left leg back through. Yeah, both guys still very active. I mean, it, credit to, credit to Shame for locking Louis down and not, not obviously not he's not taking much damage there at the minute. But um, warning given there by uh, by the referee. So the ref would like to I think Shane's doing a good job of tying up down here because he's not in a great position with his back up against the cage no. and you know. Louis trying very hard to free that leg and actually be able to get some offence off. Strong first round there. Yeah, I think strong controlling round there from Louis James. Yeah. Uh, maintained solid posture throughout the hole. Uh, two good takedowns. Yeah. Uh, and avoided one himself as well to, to put something in trouble, but kept uh, kept man Shea Crampton up against the cage for the majority of the. Uh, the first round basically. Yeah, it's mean, hard to, to put that round any other way than Louis James at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see the uh, Shane was active though, he was like, constantly trying to improve his oh, position. Definitely. You know, yeah. he was not passive in there at any point, but just didn't really have the room to work or no. any sort of space really. No, it'll be interesting to see if he does go to the ground again, whether Shane, if he is on the bottom, could be more uh, more aggressive for the bottom. Yeah, I think if there was a bit more space, I think we'd have seen more from him. Yeah. Uh, I just think he was controlled from, from the get go there by Lewis on that first round. You know, two more rounds to fight, another six minutes to go. Here we go. Shane does a great job though of like constantly holding half guard even when he's getting pummeled. Yeah, I, I, like that takedown there was so quick and powerful from Louis, but 
Shane Once again, he wasn't went able to, to actually, yeah, wasn't able yeah. to maintain side control for, for but a second. Not much uh, action over outside the cage, unfortunately, uh, Al. No, it's all a bit distant from here. It is, isn't it? Lou did really well to yeah. just use that far side of the cage. He's used that exact same position for the entirety of the first round. Um, obviously, likes to circle his man and then adopt the takedown close to the cage. Just making Shane work really hard, making him carry his weight yeah, the whole time. It's been exhausting for Shane at this point, being, uh, being the man on bottom for almost two rounds. Yeah, now. absolutely. And Louis, like, attacking the key, lock, the key in. lock there in that Americana. Oh, it's tough because he's in half guard, so it's a typical, yeah, difficult finish there. Me. Not to say that he can't, but. You know, from side control, that would be infinitesimally easier. Yeah. But uh, Shane did the right thing, trying yeah, to... Shane oh, no, he's, he's got it, he's got it. Just enough talk on that to, uh, to put the tap out there from Shane. And that's a very strong victory indeed there for Louis James. Yeah, he's done really well. This is power effectively. Like I said, a hard finish of half guard. Not impossible, as we saw. Yeah. Just have to be really, really good. And uh, he was very successful. I think he did really well. Yeah, fantastic fight. Thank you to both fighters.